Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Sphere, and I wanted to give a big piece of advice for psychokinesis. And uh, this has to do with uh, all aspects of electrokinesis and all the other things, um, hydro and all that. Um, you know, you have to let the object uh, go where it wants to go. I always talk about that. It's very important because what it is that you're letting um, your previous thoughts um, dictate the motion of the object. When you're staring at the object, you're not supposed to. Um, metaphorically stand in front of it you're not supposed to think of how you want it to move but rather just to let it move how it wants because you're gonna notice subtle sliding sliding an upright cup or a side wheel you're gonna notice it bobbing and moving and sliding a certain way you have to let it go let it go or else you're not gonna get no moving you're gonna hinder motion you're gonna hinder the motion you're gonna stop the motion so it's gonna be confused because it doesn't know what you want it to do and that's when you spend like five or ten minutes relaxing, visualizing the object, playing with it with your hand for a while, seeing how it moves. And the thing is though, is that what it is that you're letting um, the object guide you. You're letting the object uh, take you by the hand and letting um, your, your, you're letting the object uh, tell you how it wants to go. You know, the, at first that's how it's supposed to be. And then as time passes, um, then you and the object will uh, work more better in terms of control of how you want it to go. But even then, you're balancing two things at once, and I'll explain that later. Because because with the side wheel, you're going to start seeing it spin slowly and slowly, and it's going to take a long time. But later on, it's going to pick up speed and go around faster and faster and faster and faster. But you have to let your consciousness just flow out. You know, Don't step in front of it. Don't think about how you want it to go because you're going to stop the speed you're gonna stop um the, the the acceleration the development of speed for it to pick up speed because what it is that when you watch um ob kinesis um the reason why um some of the things that uh the the reason why a lot of the foils just kind of fly and you know it's so easy the cans fly and everything and this has to do with upright cans too is that you can pick up acceleration through that but you have to like step away and it's like a faucet you know, when you're able to um, open up that faucet, you pick up some speed because it's your consciousness, it's your previous thoughts of how you wanted the object to move that affects it. It's your previous thoughts that affect the object, not your immediate present thoughts, but the thoughts that are in your subconscious that moves the object. And when you just let it go, when you let those interworkings go and flow and connect, that's when the object will start to pick up speed and acceleration, which is what we want. We want we want um, the objects to have obvious um, um, speed. You want the, you you want the object to move in an obvious manner. That's uh, that that that's very impressive. You want the upright cup to slide towards you fast. You want the side wheel to spin fast, and and you have to step away from that. And what it is that with the uh, kinesis, uh sorry, get off. With Obi kinesis is that um, his faucet is always open, and this is the thing that's going on is that with him. Um, the the faucet's turned up all ma its maximum, you know, so that so whenever he stares at it, his energy just goes and it just flows out, you know, and it knocks it over. Um, you're able to open up the faucet just a little bit, and when you do that, what 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 is happening is that with Obi Kinesis, when he's doing that, he could just knock it down, knock down a piece of foil with just a little bit of that. But since he opens it 50%, you know, as he opens it 50%, the object will not just fall down, but it'll slide over. And when you turn it 100%, the object will just fly, you know, because you're just letting the, the, you're opening the faucet of your subconscious and your previous thoughts to just go and flow and connect. And you're stepping away, you're stepping out of the way of yourself. You know, it's like a, it's like two people working. It's you and your inner you, the physical you and the inner you working together hand in hand to move the object. You know, it's kind of a weird thing. It, it's a weird balance. And this is the last bit of advice I want to give you guys because I want to make the video too long is that with control. But the biggest thing also for control, whether it's an upright can or a spinning a side wheel or 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 or, or the, 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 the the pulsating of an of a light bulb or whatever, for control, you know what you're doing is that you're balancing again your physical self and the internal psyche soul self, the spirit self. You and him which is both one person is working together 
to uh, to 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 have control of an object. What is happening is that it's a it, it, it's a very uh, precise balance of letting your your inner self, your consciousness self, your sub, your previous thoughts to flow and control. As your as your as your uh, your 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 inner thoughts are controlling the object without you thinking, the physical you thinking, the frontal lobe you thinking, you're letting it move. Now, at that very moment, as it's moving and you're out of its way, you then have to suggest, persuade it to move the other way as it's rotating the opposite direction. So you're so right then and there, as the consciousness is flowing, you don't want to step in too much to block the flow of the of the of, of, of the connection and the movement of the object. What you want to do is that you want to kind of slide in a little bit, make Put one step in and one step out and kind of say hey hey can you can you slightly and softly persuade it come 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 this way come this way as you're going that way come this way what you're doing is that you're using the 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 motion that's occurring at that moment as it's moving you're using that energy to then to then persuade it to come this way to come this way there's already an energy occurring and what you're doing you're taking advantage of that motion and you're suggesting it to come this way, come this way. A cup, it's going back, but I want you to slide toward me. A side wheel, you're spinning left, but I want you to spin right. You know, it's a balance of both things. You're letting your consciousness go out, but you're persuading at the same time. It's like balancing a, it's like balancing um, um, um a book on your head, and you're also balancing um an egg on a stick. And you're doing two things at once, a book on your head and an egg on a stick, like in the Ninja Turtle movie, the new one, where I think um, Leonardo, uh, Leonardo is doing that. He's balancing the stick with an egg on it. You're doing two things like that, and that's that's control. That's what I've come to see what control is. And if you want to have control, that's what it is, a proper balance of these things. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't make it too long. Thank you guys for watching. I hope, you guys, hope to help you guys watch the video over again so you can understand it better.